And uh, I, like I said, I really appreciate all the stuff that those guys did for me, especially that guy. Now, like I said, you were our favorite, our favorite rappers, top five. You were one of the baddest to ever do it. You came out with your album. Obviously, you sitting back there. The album covers right there behind the statue, the King of King Lord of Lords. I heard you talk one time and say at some point you were so hot after the album that you really thought you were the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Can you talk us through the mm-hmm. height of that? That that once the album came out, the run, the um, the notoriety that you got, the love you received from it, and how that made you feel. Yeah, man. You talking about a, a a dude that came from nothing? You know what I mean? You talking about a guy that dropped out of school because he only had he dropped out of high school because he only had a couple pair of jeans to wear and you know motherfuckers talk about you so bad you just don't want to be in that environment mm. you know, like a dude that came from kind of a broken home where nothing was really working right to to you know a year later motherfuckers thought i was the coldest shit since sliced bread and mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I think Dre always says your ego is not your amigo. And, you know, I've lived that that experience because, uh, you know, I was an arrogant motherfucker as a young guy. And that shit, it, it really hurt me in my development, even though I believe that, you know, my, my steps are ordered. So that was a path that I had to take to learn to be the man that I am today. Uh, but yeah, it got so, on the West Coast, it got so big that that the kids start wearing the King of Kings on their rings mm-hmm. and they tattoos in their hair. And so, yeah, I thought, I thought it was me. But the whole, the whole story began with, with a prayer that I gave on my sister's couch when well, my, my parents wanted to send me to the army and shit and i prayed so motherfucking hard bro that if, if you would just let me be the best i promise you when i get there i'm gonna tell everybody it was you it wasn't me which is why i took the picture with the statue in the first place that's 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 what i was trying to say you know? but the kids took it the way they they wanted to take it and then ego took over and then the, the alcohol took over and all of that old shit, and it was just, you know, it was a rough deal. Right. What's been one of your secrets or a few of your secrets of having longevity but surviving what you survive, still coming out and on the other end, man, humble and grateful? Man, God made me a, a, a real one. You know, you don't. Mm. They say uh, he, he gives the, the hardest lessons to the strongest of us. You know what I mean? And so... All I, all I could do is give it up to him on that. Cause look, I told you I'm, I wasn't a gangster nigga going in. I wasn't. I wasn't. In. I didn't know shit about that world. So when that shit hit me, I was already in in one space. And then when the fucking accident happened, now I'm in another space, and and it's just all bad. You know what I mean? But I'm a believer, so I held on to that as 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 tightly as I could, and persevered, man, and had faith. And I believed, you know, and so, uh, like I said, this moment in time that we living in right now is, is is a is a huge transition for me, not just because of COVID or because of uh, the moves that we see uh, that we making as people of color in this country and really all over the world. But this moment in time was meant for me somehow. And, and I can't tell you all the shit that's that's coming, but you a year from now, we'll be able to sit down this conversation and you'll really, really be able to understand that last thing. Dope. I hope that's done right here at our studio. Yeah. Personally, that would be crazy. Um, you talked about the accident. Now, three months after the album, 
that's when tragedy struck. That's when you had the accident. Can you walk the people through that, um, if you don't mind? Yeah, man, it was, it was, uh, like I said, I was, you know, that was me and Shug time, you know, and we was going to every motherfucking club in Hollywood, getting kicked out every weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like clockwork. We go, we go buy brand new clothes on Thursday and turn the clothes up fighting by Sunday. Mm. And repeated that shit every week because that's, you know, you know the, 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 the spirit says, you know, when you walk into a room, it's the same spirits in every room. And if you sit and listen to a person talk and don't concentrate on the vessel, you can hear the spirit. And once you hear that spirit talk, you know what the fuck you're dealing with. And so if you choose to continue that relationship in high in, in 2020, hindsight being 2020, you already know where you're going once you start going down that road. And so it it shouldn't be a surprise where, where you end up, you know. And that's just man to man conversation. Mm -hmm. Anybody can understand that that when you walk into a room and start talking to a person, whether that spirit is a spirit of deceit, whether that's a warrior spirit, whether that's a calm spirit, they it's how the, the verbiage they use that when they talk to you. Because really it's their spirit trying to talk to yours. So you gotta be aware enough to know who the fuck you're talking to when you're talking to a person to know which which uh which road to take, mm -hmm. you know. Um, because trust me, looking back, I know exactly who those guys were, all of them, when they started talking. Um, the, the how is just so good. I didn't want to let it go. Mm. I remember you coming out of that accident or you talking about coming out of that accident. You were very bitter and upset because obviously a tragic accident like that, taking away one of your greatest weapons at the time, your voice. How did you, what, were your, what was your mind like after that? Like, how how were you thinking moving forward? It's almost I almost kind of attribute it and apologize if I'm taking it the wrong way, but like almost somebody losing their leg that was a, a sprinter. Somebody like, how did you take that? No, I, I took it like Bo. You know what I'm saying? Like like Bo Jackson. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I that's what I felt like. Like I was robbed. You know what I mean? Uh, man, can you imagine what we'd have got to see if Bo? Right. It wouldn't happen to Bo Jackson, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so it, it was it was a struggle. Uh, and I leaned on uh, the other things that I did well, the writing. You know, those other guys became my voice. Mm. Because I didn't want to go home. That arrogant ass young nigga had tripped himself up. And I didn't want to go home and face that. Mm. That, uh, that humiliation, you know what I mean? Mm. So I stuck with it. I had no other choice. Uh, I'd do whatever the fuck I had to do to make sure I could stay within that machine and keep being a contributor at a high level. And uh, and when Snoopy came, he really afforded me the opportunity to put all my eggs into his basket, you know, and and, and, and push him, you know. Mm. And he, he was really great about that he he knew her so i didn't notice till later but he knew where i was he he saw the suffering in in his spirit he knew mm. and, and uh you know he just called me the other night we was talking about this exact shit. how uh when he first came in he moved into a house with me and was and was taking all of my you know that i could give him that i could feed him a year later I moved into his apartment with him because I had lost everything in the same apartment, same furniture we were sitting on in my house was now in his house. Okay. You know what I mean? And he took care of me the same way I took care of him. He, he rode that ride with me as as much as he could. And, uh, and then when his shit started blowing, you know, it, it felt like I was still... Uh, I was still winning as as Dope. you know as much as I could be. Are, are you um surprised or not surprised, I should say, to see where Snoop um is now? Where he started from where he is now? No. 